All right, back again. Another video. Gonna keep it short and sweet. We're talking about what lies behind the narcissist smirk when you see that little smirk that they give you with something. You know, you you could have you know gotten into an argument with them or a disagreement, or you chose to stand your ground and keep your boundary. Oftentimes, you'll see. Where the narcissist will give you this smirk on their face. Um, that from a narcissist, um, I would say to brace yourself if you're seeing this. This is usually means that they're going to go ahead and execute something that they already had cooked up to do to you. Or they're plotting or they're scheming something in some way um, to be uh, to be carried out by them unbeknownst to you okay you the mischief is involved and I'll give you a couple examples so one where the narcissist could have been um, entertaining a secondary source of supply while they're with you you, you and the narcissist have a disagreement. And it's something that the narcissist did not like, did not, was not too fond of. And you're, you know, giving them, you know, your two cent. You're telling them what it is. And this is another one, especially if you see where they're not really trying to engage back with you, but they're just giving you that smirk. That smirk is, okay, I'm going to let you have this, but I'm going to go and fool around with this new source. I'm going to go and cheat on you. I'm going to go and um, entertain uh, activities that I shouldn't be entertaining while I'm committed to you. Now, for you, you know nothing of it. The smirk is basically like, mm-hmm. Okay, watch this. Now, even though they won't come back and tell you, right? And sometimes they could have already did it. And when you start yelling and, you know, going back and forth with them, they're smirking because you're talking all that stuff to me. Little do you know, I'm sleeping around with such and such or I'm doing this behind your back. I'm doing that or I'm getting ready to go do this behind your back. I'm getting ready to do something that's going to violate you behind your back. I'm going to do something that's going to disrespect you behind your back. That's a lot of times what that smirk is representing from a narcissist. It's representing uh, something devious, underhanded, that they are already partaking in or about to partake in is a way of, you know, getting, getting back at you or doing something to you that you won't have any control over stopping and you won't have any knowledge of what's going on as well. Right. But, more deeply important, what it does for the narcissist is it makes them feel even more empowered, makes them feel smarter than you because they get to look back and say, OK, you don't even know what I'm doing behind your back. I'm in a whole nother relationship getting this, this and that and this and all of this. And you're sitting up here playing the fool, don't even know what I'm doing. Don't even know that I, I've been stealing from you and giving to somebody else. Don't even know that I've been plotting and planning to leave you and go to this new person that they've been dealing with. The smirk can say so much, but from a narcissist especially, it's like, you just don't know. That's what the smirk is kind of like. You have no idea 
what's going on. And it's kind of like that one up. The smirk is an indication that they have one up on you. That you don't know about. Now, you may take it and think, oh, they're just smirking. But when they do it, it's definitely a sign that they have one up on you or they've already one up you. And you have no idea. So personally, the first sign of seeing a smirk from them or from someone like that would be an indication that it's like, hey, you need to fully reassess what's going on and who you're dealing with. And you probably should be trying to get up out of there because something is going on behind your back or something that's going on that you don't know about that this individual is doing that you have no control over. And in the end, it's going to be something that's going to be disrespectful to you, something that's going to violate you, betray you, etc. You know, and it, I've never seen it to fail with those individuals. You know, the narcissists love the position of having power over other individuals. And especially if it's like in a way to where they can, you know, still perform under the radar, keeping you in the dark, but doing other things behind your back. They like that because they can still get you to play the fool. You can be the biggest fool while they're embarrassing you, and that's their payback. They do it silently a lot of times, sneaky. That argument y'all had, that disagreement, that fallout, you might have thought nothing of it, but the narcissist took that and began to, you know, set the, the scene and plot a situation to where they can go ahead and get that that silent revenge, that secretive revenge on you by doing something behind your back that they know would definitely violate uh, the situation that y'all were working on, would violate your trust, would violate you as an individual. And the narcissist, you know, they get off on that because, of, again, the fact that you have no idea and you will continue when they come back and they apologize or you guys make everything right. And now it seems like things are going good and going back in the right direction. They didn't already went opened up something, a situation that they're going to keep doing. Because remember, narcissists hold grudges. So just because you made up and apologize and you think everything is well and dandy with with the situation. No, it's not. It never will be with a narcissist. They will hold on to that one thing forever. And now you have someone who has basically became an op to you. They became an opposition to you. And you're still doing for them, caring for them when they they're sitting up there, you know, looking at that as, yeah, go ahead and keep doing you're going to pay for this still. This ain't good enough. But to your face, you know, they're, oh, all of that was in the past that happened. They, they, they're forgiving you. They, they're okay now. No, they're not. And this is why many of you in the end, you find yourself like when you find out the stuff that they've been doing behind your back, it's mind blowing because you never thought that the person would even you know, carry something out to that extent. A lot of the things and disagreements you had were so minor, but the reaction to the from the narcissist was so major and exaggerated. And they held on to that and they kept pushing and pushing with that. And basically... Uh, the smirk is just 
it's like you just if you only knew what I was doing or what I had in store for you. So beware of that smirk. It's never nothing good if you're getting the smirk from a narcissist. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this video, uh, lecture at least. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, you know, get in the, um, in the uh, description box if you want to you know, book a one-on-one -on -one consultation or anything like that. Help the channel. Go ahead and check that out. Click the link in the description box. Until next time, y'all have a good one.